Okay, look at what's going on. Now, we've had some scattered showers move on through the region, mainly North Carolina, a little bit into the south, a tiny bit into the peninsula. There's an upper level low that's following a, uh, it's an upper level storm that's following the main cold front. And then we're done with any rain. And this rain is nothing real, real big. It's gone quite likely by 8, 9 o'clock. It moves on out to sea by 1 o'clock in the morning. We've got a little bit of a wind moving through and our skies clear off even further. There's where we are to start the day on Thursday. Thanksgiving day. It'll be breezy to start the day and chilly 38 to 42 degrees, but we'll warm on up into the mid 50s for a high temperature on Thursday and the winds should drop on down considerably. Seven o'clock in the evening. All is quiet. Cool front comes through overnight and into Friday. It's not going to do all that much, really. Uh, just shift the winds around. Uh, you can see a little bit of a kink in the winds dropping on in. Uh, there's where things are by one in the afternoon Friday. Considerably more cloud cover in the mid to upper 50s for a high and we're likely to see the wind pick up coming up for the overnight hours Friday and on into Saturday as the colder air really starts to take hold overnight and into Saturday. Now Saturday starting in the 30s to around 40 and winds are rather gusty and Saturday during the day we're likely to only see highs of around 50 degrees. Here's what's going on in the seven day forecast. And this jerky is going to go nuts here on us. 56 degrees on Thanksgiving Day, 57 on Friday, uh, more cloud cover. Saturday chilly. Uh, it could be breezy the first part of the day, especially Sunday. A few scattered showers warming up for Sunday and Monday. Much colder again Tuesday and Wednesday.